Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I'm on index card number 15. I'm loving this series. How about? Hope you guys are too. It's really fun. So this is uh, I'm using my laminated dried flowers that I did. That's not pretty. They're so cool. They're see-through. And making my own coin envelopes or coin coin holder type thing. And it's so easy. I just took a index card full in half and then used this size. Oops. I lied. I used this side size. Circle cutter. You can use a hole punch or a a hand punch too, but I didn't have anything other than scallop circles for this, like these sizes. And then again, I did all, I talked about the laminating in my last index card series video. So if you want to learn more about that, you know, you can go back and look at that um, if you haven't seen it. But I'm hopefully you have. So that's really as simple as this is. Just fold it in half, run it through your die cutting machine. And then these pieces inside, I just cut them to size, basically. You know, so I just took, like, this one, put it, placed it in there, and then just figured out where to cut it. So you didn't have to die cut that. So that is index card number 15. And um, I really like how they turned out. I'm probably going to put something on here, like stamp some stuff. So here's the easiest little thing to do. Once you get the laminate in there, it gets sturdier. You can do both sides too. Because they um, work either way, front or back. Super simple, very easy. I just gotta cut this. And I'm going to cut it down a little more. Okay. Then glue. And then at the end of this, I show um, um, stamping on the front. What's nice about nice about art glitter glue is it actually um, glues on the laminate. There. And then I just put a weight on it, <clears throat> excuse me, for a while, like heavy weight, to get them nice and flat. So, and now I will show the rest of them. How I decorate them on the outside of these. And I can do anything, use words, or I've got this Maggie Holmes. These two sets. Uh, maybe some flowers or the bee would be kind of cool. That's how things work in nature. Bees help. Oh. What's that? Oh, that's just extra. I thought it was falling apart. 
but I won't get into science lesson. I think I'm gonna um Put grow or little words. Cute. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> Sorry, my um. We've got all these. Uh, I can't go outside for a while because the smoke from Canada is so bad that I get out there and I cannot handle it. So, and now it's the BWC area. The Bounty Water Canoe Area, I should say. Up in northern Minnesota is on fire. It's spread out from Canada because it's so close. So that's a little scary. I love how they're translucent. You can see all the insides. Probably should stamp first before I put them together. Just in case. Cute. Yeah, so it's like, we noticed the haze, <clears throat> the sky was really hazy last weekend, or last, last week, and now it's just, I mean, we went out there, not last night, the night before, and I was like, holy smokes, and I don't mean that, I mean that intentionally, I should say, um, so yeah, I just gotta like, stay away. Stay inside. Keep my health. Cause I can I know you can tell <clears throat> that I'm scratchy voice. Pretty These stamps are so cute. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, and then I think, I think I'm gonna fill it in a little bit more. Cute. Ooh, I like it. Now you don't even see the specimen. Now you do. Ooh, I like that. I'm very proud of myself, aren't I? <clears throat> um, I think I might. If I want to do another B. I might just leave that. But I think
there. Alrighty. I do like this, how that turned out. Pretty bad. I think it needs more though. This one. What would a bee look? Another bee up there. Too bad that's not bigger than that. Wait a second. Nope. If it was just a little bit bigger. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it for now. So anyways, <clears throat> sorry about that. 